OK, so in this video, we're going to sketch x squared over 4 plus y take away 3 squared equals 1. Right, now the first thing to do is to identify what type of graph we're looking at. Is it a parabola? Well, no, because we've got an x squared here um, and a y squared. OK, so it's not a parabola. Is it a hyperbola? No, because we don't have x squared take away y squared. We've got x squared plus y squared. So that means that it's got to be an ellipse. Now, because it's an ellipse, if it had been x squared over 4 plus y squared equals 1, we'd be all right with sketching this straight off the bat. That'd be no problem. But the problem is that we've got the y take away 3 in here. So the y has been replaced with y take away 3, which means the graph has been translated by the vector 0, 3. So 3 units upwards. So that means that the centre of the ellipse is now at 0, 3. So that's the first thing I can identify on my sketch. That's where the centre of the ellipse now is. Now taking that into account, if now you were thinking, OK, well, if this was y squared, if we were looking at x squared over 4 plus y squared equals 1, then could I sketch that just now where that point is? So kind of superimpose it over. And you can think of it that way um, to help you out if you like. OK, so um, if we had just been sketching this, we would have said when x is 0, y is going between minus 1 and 1. So that means that our ellipse must be going between uh, minus, oh, sorry, 2 and 4, because it must be 1 either side of the 3. So 2 and 4. Likewise, we can say, right, when y is 0, we would have had x squared equals 4, so x is plus or minus 2. So this graph has been translated upwards, and so it's now going through this point here, which is at 2, and this point here, which is at minus 2. So the curve... <sighs> missed it. does something like this. I'm really terrible at ellipses. Oh dear. I don't think that made it any better. Oh well, okay, so, so that's, uh, that's my ellipse, okay? So you can see that this point is 2, 3, this point is minus 2, 3, and my process was first of all find the centre then I can imagine that I'm just sketching this and translate that graph upwards. Now, if you didn't like that particularly, the alternative would have been to have substituted in x is 0 um, into this. So that would have meant that if, when x is 0, I would have got... Um, y uh, minus 3 squared equals 1. So square root both sides, we get y's, y take away 3 is plus or minus 1. And then add 3. So y is equal to 3 plus or minus 1, which gets us the 2 and the 4. Um, if you'd tried to put in uh, y equals 0, then you would have got x squared over 4, and then 0, take away 3, and then squaring it is plus 9. And then you would have got x squared is equal to, well, subtract 9 from both sides, you get minus 8 times by 4 um, is minus 32. And x squared can't be equal to minus 32 if x is real. So that's just saying that it's not crossing the x-axis. So I think some kind of combination of this um, in order to sketch it is going to be useful knowing uh, the tricks of what you're looking for is going to be important to help that sketch out.